Um, I think that covers it. Next, can I take the next rounds of it? I saw your hand a long time. Yes, I'll come to you. Yeah, please. Uh, we're staying on Canada, right? Yeah, go ahead. Let's hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? This is Karishma Merota okay. from the Washington Post. Okay. I wanted you to clarify the comment where you said that, that there should be parity and strength between the different diplomatic missions. Are you saying that the current reduction in the Canadian mission today was a result of an Indian request to downsize? its presence in New Delhi, or was it an active measure taken by Canada to do so? Can you clarify that, uh, the parity statement sure. you made? Sudam. Hi, sir. I'm Sudam from CNN News 18. Sir, a uh, former diplomat has made a comment on a national TV uh, a week back saying that, uh, uh, saying that there was always a trouble for uh, Indian Army officers to get visa, those who have served in specific locations in India like Jammu Kashmir, Northeastern State, to get Canadian visa. Uh, was, was Ministry aware about it and have we ever raised this issue uh, to, to the Canadians? And also some my follow-up question, E.M. Jaishankar... I have even answered. How yes, can you have a follow-up question? Sir, E.M. Jaishankar is in uh, New York, sir. We have no, been told. no, no, no. Sir, Honorable Minister is in Parliament. Oh, yes, uh, sir. Follow-up question uh, called up. <laughs> yes, I'll come to everybody. I assure you, there's time, there's time. Yes, she. Microphone, please. This is Yeshi Sedi from the New Indian Express. When uh, Prem uh, Trudeau was in Delhi for the G20, did he raise this issue of uh, uh, Nijar uh, while he was here with the Prime Minister? Did he talk, make these, these allegations uh, that he's raising in Parliament or did this come as a surprise to all of us? Uh, you know, during Who the speech, I was meaning India, in, oh, okay. uh, in, you know, because uh, he was here and he had a meeting with the PM Modi and Khalistan issue was raised over there. Uh, did this come up in the conversation at all? Okay. Yes, behind. That's just many hands. I'll, I'll come to all of you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, sir, we also have an e-visa process. Are you Parikshit from CNBC. Thank you, Parikshit. So we also have an e-visa process. Has that been suspended uh, as well? And does this... Uh, Temporary suspension of visas apply to all categories. The Canadian Embassy, we are getting to know from associations, travel associations, that they are still issuing visas. Who? The Canadian Embassy. Do we have, do we have any clarity whether Canada has also taken reciprocal action and stopped? Okay. Uh, who, you had, yes ma'am? I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Yeah. I am Amiti from Business Line. Yes. Uh, the Canadian High Commission has said in a statement today that some of its diplomats have been facing threats on various social media platforms and you know they have also cited the Vienna Convention and said that they would be expecting the whole government to uh, provide security. So will there be a reassessment of the security uh, situation as far as the Canadian High Commission is concerned? Okay. Let me finish that, sir. I'll come to the side. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, yesterday the Australian Foreign Minister reminded the issue of rule of law and they believe that, say, a terrorist should be dealt through that process. So I really want to know what is the current Indian perspective on that? Uh, on the rule of law? When it comes to dealing with terrorism, like, do you think that rule of law is something that India would follow? When dealing with a terrorist I or an alleged terrorist your... who is away from Indian shores and <laughs> Indian okay. arms of justice, if you want to answer uh, to that. How, okay. do you, how do you deal with the Australian Foreign Minister's remarks? I, I wouldn't, but I'll give a response to your query. Uh, Reza? I'll come to you, ma'am. Reza from the Hindustan Times. Uh, just wanted a quick uh, clarification about the advisory we had issued yesterday. It had a very specific mention about uh, politically condoned hate crimes. Mm. Um, are we saying that uh, the Canadians haven't acted with alacrity on uh, hate crimes of this nature? Okay. Somebody else had a hand up? Yeah. I'll come this side. I think this. Oh, no. Uh, you had a hand up. Sorry. Apologies. You had a hand up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want to do first? Go ahead. I'm Sunita from Times Now, No Bharat. Is the microphone on? Sunita from Times Now, No Bharat. Uh, sir, you Canadian, uh, Canada may Indian students stuck here, and their parents are very worried about it. Okay. I'll come back to that. Yeah. Rishabh, I just give you anything, but uh, you did a question. Follow up? Okay. Go ahead. Sir, uh, follow up from my last question itself. Is there any particular reason for the reduction of numbers of diplomats? Okay. 
विजयलक्ष्मी हुई इंडिया टीवी से सर जो मार्च दो हजार तेईस में हमला हुआ था भारतीय कॉन्सुलेट पे सैन फ्रांसिस्को में उस पर क्योंकि एनआईए ने दस एक्यूज की लिस्ट यहाँ पर जारी की है लोगों से जानकारी मांगी है अगस्त में हमारी एक टीम भी वहाँ गई थी उस पर कोई अपडेट किस तरह का वहाँ से हमें मिल रहा है ओके या कृष्ण कौशिक फ्रॉम रॉयटर्स Sir, building on Reza's question, uh, India had issued an advisory which mentioned growing anti-India activities and politically condoned hate crimes. Can you provide any specifics if they were shared or if they are in that you can share with us? Okay. Tell me. Your name? Yeah. Microphone. You are surprised. <coughs> Go ahead. Sir, I am Mukesh Kaushik from Dhanik Bhaskar. Sir, as you have said that in Canada, there are famines and terrorists. So, when we tackle them in Pakistan, we tackle them with the surgical strike. How do you tackle them in Pakistan? How do you tackle them in Pakistan? बी जी ट्वेंटी की भागीदारी के बाद ट्रूडो की ये सब डिप्लोमेटिक स्पार सामने आया है एक क्वेश्चन एक क्वेश्चन ले ले ये दो अच्छा क्या था? क्या ये जी ट्वेंटी की हिस्सेदारी में जो उनके साथ हुआ या उनको बताया तो ये इस समय एमई की ब्रीफिंग चल रही है